majority of the reason. And I hate when boxers make excuses after fights. It makes me sick. Um, but, you know, I, I broke my toe uh, three weeks ago. But, and there was no way I was going to pull out of this fight. Um, it's one of those things that happen in training. You get injuries. Vladimir might have broken toe for all I know. I don't know. But um, I was unable to push off my right foot and shoot in my right hand like I'd like to. And that, that's what I feel um, didn't allow me to open up and do what I normally do. Weren't able to throw big, powerful punches. And, um, you know, that's, that's, that's boxing. You don't get it your own way all the time. Um, he, put, he fought great. You know, he hit me with some great shots. Um, he didn't knock me down. The, the, the knockdown that was, was scored a knockdown, I think everybody, uh, everybody except the referee could see that that was just a push. But, you know, it's one of those things. You know, I'm gutted that I wasn't able to do what I needed to do out there. Uh, I, I, I had to thank the fans. And I definitely feel that... Um, it's really put heavyweight boxing back on the map this fight. He, he, he fought the perfect fight tonight. He went out there and implemented a, a great strategy and game plan. Um, I, was, I was hoping, I was dropping my hands in front of him, trying to, trying to let him, I wanted him to unload on me. I knew, I, I knew at long range I couldn't spring in like I'd, I'd normally do and land big shots. So I tried to drop my hands and give him my face. And I was taking a few jabs that you know, normally I wouldn't do because I wanted him to come and try to knock me out. But, uh, uh, but he, he wasn't sort of committing. But he did the right thing, you know. He won a he won a won a, won a points decision. If you look at if you look at the scorecards, that looks a pretty, a pretty pretty big big wide decision. I don't believe the the scoring was um, accurate. You know, I think the, the referee um, did exactly what we was hoping he wouldn't do. Um, but you know, this is one of them. I'm, I'm fighting in Germany, so you you got ex you got expect. I did in the back of my mind expected things to not go my way. Um, but I was hoping that, you know, once I land a big shot, I'd be able to get him out of there. But it didn't happen tonight, unfortunately. I was really thinking that uh, I'm going to celebrate my 50th knockout today, not just the unification. I have to give respect to David Haig for his boxing skills. He has been alert for all 12 rounds. Uh, I have been expecting that's what are usually happening to the guys after certain jabs and, and the rounds. They're getting uh, kind of sleepy a little bit and slow, slowing down. Um, you really pissed me off with this T-shirt, to be honest with you. And that was that was really that was really uh, below the belt line, and um, to be honest with you, it wasn't cool. And um, and I believe that uh, everyone in his life deserves the place uh, where he is, where each of us is. So um, I'm not happy that uh, I didn't celebrate my 50th knockout, so I have to postpone it then till next fight. But um, Let's face it, we fight all the belts with my brother. It was an easy job. Um, I'm showing up at the press conference not all the time, you know, with the bruises on my face. So <laughs> there was a uh, challenge in the ring. There was there was good challenge in the ring, and I really enjoyed it. And uh, oh, now we talk about rematch. Dave, what do you think? <laughs> No, I, I, I definitely, I definitely. I'd love, I'd love uh, that, but you know, this is boxing. No. Definitely didn't expect other answer, and uh, next time we'll knock you out.